home range. Wanted to test on a target coal bore at 500 thereabout. I'm not having that range yet. I, I'm not sure exactly the yardage. It should be somewhere close to 500 yards. And uh, just wanted to have a video to kind of go through all the steps that it takes to make a shot like that happen. Hopefully, make it happen. So, first thing I'm going to do is get my range. And I'm going to do that by milling it. I don't have a laser that will go that far. All I have is a real cheesy one that's only rated out to, I think, 450, which they're not that accurate anyway. So, we'll be milling it. I know the size of the target 18 inches by 28 inches. And so, with that, I should be able to figure out the. Uh, the distance to the target by milling it. Alright. It's important to get extremely comfortable because you're going to be here a while. Alright. I'm using a, a Ballistic AE app for an iPhone. I think it's available for Androids and stuff as well. But um, it's been fairly accurate for me. Uh, every time I've used it, it's been dead on. If you put in the right variables, of course. Um, that's basically true with any of them. You know, garbage in, garbage out. You gotta have the right information to plug into them. Uh, it uses JBM Ballistic software, so it's uh, pretty much equal to basically all of them pretty much give you the same thing it's just a matter of uh, different uh, programs to to offer the same results hopefully get the same results anyway all right so i go in and select my projectile which i've already had loaded in here and then i update the weather that's one good thing about this app. It actually uh, it uh, has the ability to to uh, update weather and so on and so forth. We got uh, just a two mile an hour wind. I usually will record all these things. Altitude 541 feet. Uh, pressure, barometric pressure is 30.147, which is different from what I'm zeroed for, so this ought to be interested. Um, temperature is, wow, it's such a beautiful day. 60.4 uh, degrees, humidity, 21%. And uh, I usually, would, uh, I'll usually, um, also go to another app that I have, it's just a weather center, and uh, double check those those readings to make sure that they're in line with uh, what the weather center is showing. And if they are different, then I will just kind of average the two together. Um, but let's see, the weather center is showing 33% uh, humidity, so they're showing a little bit higher humidity. So I'm going to bump this 21 up to, eh, let's say 26. I can make a 1 of 6 real easy. Uh, pressure 30.19, which is real close to what it was showing, and they're showing a the temperature of 59 degrees, which is still also close. So I'll just use those. Uh, wait a minute, I didn't see the wind. It just says calm. That doesn't help us much for our purposes. But uh, with two mile an hour wind, I, I don't think we'll have much, uh, very much drift at all. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is um, go to the range finder setting and <clears throat> try to get, I can go ahead and plug in the size of the target, which I know. Uh, let's see, 18, let's get 28 inches. We'll go on the vertical line of the target. 
All right, 28 inches. And then I need to make a, a reading, see how many meals I'm getting. important to be very steady and uh, have a good solid rest so that you don't have a false reading. I'm getting exactly 1.8 meals. All right, so let's um, let's see what that gives us here. Just a hair under 1.8. So I'm going to call it uh, 1.78 meals. And it's showing me 437 yards. Uh, so we'll, um, we can dope our scope for that. So now I can go over to um, the hood section of the app. Seven yards. That's what we're going to call it anyway. And uh, now go over to Hood, which is my fire and solution app section of the app. <clears throat> and I've got this set up on 10 yard variables. So I can probably plug in 440 yards should be really close to uh, 437 and then showing two meals doesn't sound like much all right all right I've moved the camera and repositioned it back behind the shooting position so that I in hopes to be able to see uh, bullet trace I've already indexed my scope two mils and so I'm gonna try to zoom in here so you can get an idea hopefully uh, see the shot pattern of shot path there's a torso target out there I'll try to get it in the bottom of the screen so that maybe you can see the, the trace All right, let's see what we got. Cold bore, 437. You order. <laughs> Index two meals. Okay, we have an impact. It is about one inch low and about a half inch right of uh, where the crosshairs were when I broke the shot. That shot was right on top of the other one. Now that 
best shot was, uh, let's see. Point four mules low. I didn't hold any windage.